Welcome back to another video and this is a, a Tesla Model Y but it's a different kind of Model Y. I'll tell you guys why it's a different kind of Model Y in a second. Um, but first let's just admire where we are. So this, well we came here for a special reason. This is uh, supposed to be the um, Lawson uh, Volcanic Park, okay, in Northern California. And we came to see volcanoes and geysers and stuff and that's why we took the Model Y, okay, because it's the perfect road trip vehicle. Um, but yeah, we showed up and look at this. They have more snow than we do in British Columbia, in Canada, which is very amazing. But anyways, we're here to talk about this car, so let's talk about it. But before we talk about it, you guys got to see the epic road that we took to get up here. So let's start with that first. Okay, so what's special about this Tesla Model Y? Well, basically, this is the Hertz Tesla. Yes, so this one uh, we rented from Hertz, okay, for this trip. Austin's there. Hey, Austin, what you doing? Hello. Well, that's a lot of snow. That's like three of you. Yeah, yeah pretty crazy. Yeah, but uh, this is the Tesla Model Y that we got from Hertz. So if you guys didn't know, Hertz rents Teslas. Not only these, but also the Model 3s, standard range, long range, as well as the, you know, long range Model Y. So we took it for this trip. We're going to be away for three days. This is day two. We're driving back tomorrow. And yeah, we wanted to take it up the mountain. But this is where we are. And there's just too much snow, so we can drive further and see the volcanoes and the geysers and all that stuff. But um, let's talk about a little bit about the Tesla. So this is not going to be a total review of the Model Y. If you want a Model Y review, go and look at the millions of other videos on YouTube, okay? But this one is going to just show you why we chose it, why we were taking it today. And first, let's start with the trunk or the frunk. All right, so Austin's my little assistant inside. Okay, so one good thing about having a Tesla on a road trip is you have a frunk that you can carry stuff. So Austin bought some primes. Apparently these drinks are very popular and we can't get them in Canada. So we've got jackets, we've got some hiking shoes because we thought we we're going to go hiking. Or uh, yeah, hiking shoes are here. I think this is like dirty clothes and toiletries and stuff. So. We keep all of the stuff that we need to have access to in the frunk. Then let, let's let's move to the back and the automatic tailgate, obviously. <laughs> all right, and then here, what do we have? We have our Tesla charging. Okay, so that comes with the car. I, I guess they got a special deal at uh at, uh at hertz to get the charging cables so as you guys can see it's pretty full we still have stuff here underneath we have our mattress okay so i'm going to show you guys tomorrow how we sleep in the car um and and the whole setup tomorrow morning before we start driving but that's a lot of stuff and the best part is that we don't have anything on the back seat except cables and charging and Austin sitting Hi. in the driver's seat. Okay, so plenty and plenty of space. Then let's open this one here. So we've got some water. Always buy smart water because it makes you smart, right Austin? Apparently, I Yeah, so you've seen this, what it looks like. So the touch screen, everything is the same. Yes, right. Model 3. So Austin, we took this one yesterday for a very, very long drive. Yep. 
Was it comfortable? Mm, very. Very, very comfortable? comfortable yes. You liked it? Yes, I did. All right. Yeah, me too. I enjoyed being in the car for how many hours? 12 and a half almost. Yeah, 12 hours. So I'm going to put up a link up here. Watch that video. 12 hours on superchargers. Over 600 miles, over 1,000 kilometers from BC to Northern California in one day. And it took us pretty quick. So, finally, here we are charging. So, even up in the mountains of California, they've got level two. We're getting six kilowatt. There are two chargers here, all right? So, you would need the J1772 adapter which comes with the car so Hertz is really nice to give you that so you can charge on a level 2 charger without a problem. So, what do I say about the Tesla Model Y from Hertz? So we got lucky we got the 2022 uh, model of the Tesla from Hertz and um, came with around 12,000 miles on the odometer which is about 20,000 kilometers and came fully charged up to I think 90% even, uh, which is great. If you're just picking up a car or you right away you need to go somewhere, you don't have to go find a charger. It comes charged, right? So that is amazing. Um, the whole process of getting the car was super simple. I did what I always do when I rent a car and they sent me a bunch of emails. I think it was three or four. I'll put them up on the screen here. Um, teaching me how to use a Tesla if I've never driven one. Um, tells you everything about how to use the infotainment, how to charge. And yes, you can charge on the supercharger. Uh, Hertz will just send you a bill later and you got to pay for just the charging. So they don't, you know, put up any prices. Uh, they don't try to make money from charging at all. So, oh, I'm out of breath. We're, I think, 4,000 feet up or something like that over 2,000 meters. So overall, the whole rental experience was very, very good. You don't need to go to Turo to rent a Tesla anymore, okay? Um, and I was talking when I was picking up the car and, you know, Hertz really loves Teslas. They love electric cars. Um, they're gonna move their fleet towards electric very soon because they just make more money. They don't have to service them and clients like them you know so uh, if you're on a holiday like us perfect vehicle i mean just shreds the miles go watch that first video that i posted of traveling over a thousand kilometers over 600 miles okay on the supercharger network on the 250 kilowatt supercharger network it was easy super simple um so yeah Next time you're on a trip, you're renting a car, you know, you don't need to go to Tura anymore and just go to, go to Hertz and, and get it from them. Pricing wise, it's the same, but the best thing is that you get unlimited kilometers. If you do, I think three or more days, I have like five days. So you get unlimited kilometers, which is also great. And yeah, you know, if you've never driven an electric car and you want to use one during your holiday, perfect. If you, have an idea to buy an electric car but you're not sure if you like it or you're not sure how good the supercharger network is you can rent it for a day or two and just try it out at home and in your city right so no man i love i love teslas you know my model 3 is great i really like it but now i have fallen in love with the model y um it's spacious it's nice um there's a few things that I don't like about it. Um, you know, for example, like the back window, I'll show you guys in a second, the back window and stuff. So let's jump into some of the things that, that, that I enjoy about this one, especially because I'm not gonna talk about, you know, only just the Tesla, what I like or don't like, but also about what Hertz uh, has done. So one big negative of the Hertz rental is that you don't get premium connectivity, okay? So, and most cars, when you're renting Teslas from, let's say, Turo, right? Um, they're owner-owned, right? So they pay for that. They, they pay whatever it is monthly. 
it escapes me how much it is. I'll, I'll put it up here, how much uh, the, the cost is per month for premium connectivity. But that's something good to have. You can stream your audio. You, you can have, you know, uh, the Google Maps with uh, traffic, real-time traffic. You can have topographic maps and all of that stuff, right? It's good to have. So this one doesn't come with it. So if you only have standard connectivity. Still, you can find a, you know, supercharger. You can still navigate. You can do all those things, but you don't get traffic, right? And you don't get streaming services. So when you're at a supercharger, you're not able to watch Netflix and all that unless you tether to your phone use the Wi-Fi off your phone and then, you know, and watch it this way. So that's uh, one negative. I thought maybe they would want to do that. And another negative is um, that uh, unfortunately, Tesla comes with a nice app, but all we get from Hertz are the key cards. So you can't open it with your phone. When you're charging the car, you're not able to see the state of charge while you are somewhere else grabbing a coffee or whatever like we had a situation during the trip down where we went to eat we were eating and we didn't know how far along the car was we came back and the car was almost done so that would be nice to have access to the app there is a way to do that through guest access um, i would love for them to figure out how to do it so that we have access to the app maybe in the future hertz will figure out but those are two biggest criticisms. Everything else works wonderfully well. Two things, right? Number one is I would love to see premium connectivity. I'm sure that they can get a deal from Tesla on this. And second, I would love to see app access so I can get the full Tesla experience. Right now, without the app, it's like an 80% experience. It would be nice to have that because, you know, you can remotely uh, lock on log, get everything open up that you want. It's just, it's, it's, it's why Teslas are awesome and why the app is something that people love. So yeah, those are two criticisms, but that's not about the car. That's about the, te the, uh, the experience from Hertz. But let's flip the camera around and I will show you something that I don't like about the car. The back glass uh, visibility is really reduced when you're looking through the rear view mirror. As you can see, it's super clean. <laughs> so it's very aer aerodynamic. So nothing gets stuck on it. You don't even need a wiper, which I find amazing. But it would just be nice if, um, you know, it was a little bit bigger because, you know, you just don't see as much of what's happening behind you um, as you would like. We're gonna show you very briefly how you've been camping last night. And I'm gonna film that tomorrow or morning before we start heading back home on our another mammoth run back home to British Columbia. But that's another good reason why renting a Model Y with more space inside is a good idea. And you can just basically camp in the car if you want to. So yeah. Pretty cool. So stay tuned for, for that. Um, we're gonna check in tomorrow morning. And uh, yeah, now we gotta start driving back to, to Reading. Good morning, as promised, uh, we're gonna show you uh, our camping setup. So we came back from our trip yesterday up in the mountains. And uh, now we are camping at a campsite in the Model Y. We're at Akoa. Location is not ideal because there's a highway right there. But because we sleep inside the car so we don't really hear the noise, it's quite insulated. But if you were staying in a tent or whatever, it's not really perfect. The Sacramento River is right here, so that's only the redeeming feature. And most people stay in RVs, so they don't really care. But anyways, quick setup tour. So as in our Kia, we just use a normal standard IKEA mattress topper, which is like I would say one inch, maybe a little bit more than one inch. We've got some of these lights to eliminate the interior of the car so we don't use the dome lights because they're really, really shiny and right in your face if you're lying down. So we bought a bunch of these lanterns and these kind of lights that we can put all over the car. Um, we have some snacks, obviously. Um, so yeah, just blankets, pillows, mattress. And as you can see, if I put my head all the way up to the front seats there, I can stretch out not a problem and then you have little cubbies on each side where you can store stuff while you're sleeping so that's pretty cool and while you're on a campsite you're not going to be charging super fast but with the included charger you can hook up to their standard 110 outlet and then run the line because it's 
quite long and then plug in here okay you see it's green tesla's charging we're not getting monster speeds morning austin good morning how are you doing i'm pretty good yeah how was your sleeping tired. yeah very yeah sleeping in the y is better than in the kia for sure you have so much more space yeah and then we we're pulling one kilowatt out of that uh, 110 outlet so actually we started last night with 51 percent so we didn't lose any energy and then today we have 62 to start our journey but obviously we're going to be uh charging anyways because we're going to do a fun video on the way back but i'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet <laughs> so yeah not bad at least you can get like 10 percent of charge and not lose any battery overnight while using a camp mode in the in the tesla so there you go that's the setup anyway we got to get on the road because we've got another long way to travel back home but it was an awesome trip down south nice place to come but in the summer because <laughs> unexpectedly california has snow all right so that's the end of the tesla model y road trip review um, if you got a few extra grand lying around under the mattress, it's worthwhile to getting this instead of the Model 3 if you can afford it. I still think that the Model 3 is the best electric car that most people should be buying, okay? And, and, and the standard range now being so cheap as it is, it's a great option. But if you have a little bit more, get the Y. It's bigger, it's better. You can do camping like we're doing. You can do huge long trips like we just did without any issue, without any problems. So. Yeah, would I recommend it? Definitely. And go and rent one out from uh, Hertz. See how it is. See how you feel about driving it. And if you like it, just go and buy one, right? <laughs> okay, so that's it for, for this video. Stay tuned because today we're doing our mammoth trip back home to BC. Um, but we're going to do it differently. So anyways, I'm not going to spoil it. Um, the new video should be coming out after this one. So yeah, watch out for that one. Okay, so that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. All right, take care. Bye.